Hi, Vail Fuji the Headshot Doctor here. Today I'm going to show you, brides and grooms, how you can edit your own photos from your wedding using a program called Evoto that is one that I regularly use for my headshot clients, but that you can use at home very easily to be able to edit your shots to take things from things that looked like this to this in just a matter of a few clicks. All right, let's see how I did this. Let's clear out everything I did. There we go. Here's what we originally had. I'm gonna go into this little one that looks like a, an artist palette here. It says color adjustments and click on that. And here I'm gonna bring an AI color adjustment. They have a bunch of these different looks that you can try to see if you would like to have things of different kind of filters and you can even put it into certain percentages of how much of the effect that you want to have happen with it there. So all sorts of different styles, but I happen to like kind of this neutral style there, brought up the exposure a little bit. Great, okay. Then I can even also make it so that it is specific to the person not just the whole thing, because now it looks like my husband's jacket is just a bit brighter than I might hope for. So let me bring this into color adjustments so I can see this. And I go to, instead of full image, which has that, I'm going to go to local and go to person. And now this is gonna isolate it just to the two of us here and make his jacket a bit darker by just bringing those shadows down a little bit. That might be a bit much. Okay, right in about there seems good. Okay, and I'm pretty happy with that right there for the overall. Okay, now we get into fixing us up. All right, so let's do this. So if I was just worried about just getting a person of just a single person that'll identify it there, but I want to do separate things on each of us here. So I'm gonna go to individual and you can see it shows the different people. Now what's cool is it's gonna make adjustments even though he's in profile and I'm straight on here. So I'll start with myself here and I can make it bigger by just kind of spreading my fingers there, making it wider. And you can see even with good makeup and that still some acne there showing up. So I'm just gonna move the slider over till I'm happy with the way that is. Okay looks pretty good. If it was happened to be that I had some cute freckles that and it took that away, I can dial back that aspect of it so that it would not remove that part instead. But I'm good with how it is. And I generally just kind of go from the top down and make the edits as it goes along of what I feel the need needs to be done one way or another. Okay. Now looking at this, you can see I had some different cuts and things like that on there. So I'm gonna now to move on to body blemish. Okay, just gonna pick that and bam. It's gotten rid of most of those while still maintaining the texture of my skin. If my face was looking shiny, I could go and add just a little bit of this and it'll take off a bit of that shine there. But not too shiny that day, doing okay. I had a bunch of wrinkles on my forehead. You can see just the tiniest bit. I wanted to get rid of those. Just adjust it. If I want more of the effect, have it go further up. Okay. Next is the eye wrinkle, the under eye wrinkles. Those are where I, I have it most there. And so I'm gonna bring that up, bring that to lessen, and the dark circles also to lessen. And the key thing is still making things look believable. You don't wanna do things all the way just so that you look like a cartoon. You just wanna be looking like yourself on your, your very best day. Smile line, maybe just a little bit here. Make that lessen just a little. Great. Take care of the little bit of neck wrinkles here. Okay. Still wanna leave a little bit. You wouldn't want it to be completely gone like this. That would look a little odd. So I'm gonna leave just a hint of that because I'd be turning my head. You'd expect to have that little bit there. Too much. And there we go, that's looking good. Okay. 
And if I had any effects of double chin, I'd want to add that on here. But really, not looking too much. So there, have a decently defined chin that day. Make it just a little bit. Okay. Got to move through. Great. If I needed more advanced skin retouching, I wanted all those types of things, I'd go and just open this up, can add it. But I like the natural appearance of leaving us having our all the different texture bits and stuff that I have there. If my body is not quite matching the color of my face, we can bring that up just a bit so it's going to match it better with it there compared to it. So we can see before. It's a little bit rosier here. Brings that down just a bit. Okay. And so I encourage you also just to play with the different sliders, see for licks that you like. For skin tone, if you were feeling like you were a little bit pale for the season, you wanted to be looking a little bit more of having a tan, at first this is going to look crazy with it. It's a bit much. You can actually dial down or up the amount of the effect get the spray tan going on me uh, no but you know you can have just a little bit of tones there and anytime you want to have the effect go away it has this little Maya symbol so we'll do that okay overall feeling good temperature is kind of the tone of it if you wanted to be feeling it a bit cooler tone to it there a bit warmer but again I thought the color on there was pretty good so I'm gonna leave that now we can do facial reshape now overall for myself I was happy with it there but you'll notice that this eye what I call the camera left eye it is technically my right eye but it's on the left side of the page here was a bit smaller and squintier than I might want so I have my choices of different things to be adjusting and it's really kind of amazing the level I mean they even have it all the way to the filtrum the space up above and below my my nose there Ooh, we can switch that but I'm pretty good with overall how my face is there you can see for hairline if I want to bring it so that my hairline came forward a bit more can do that can make it go further back not sure how many people want that but you can if you needed to but I'm happy with it right there in the middle okay but what I am going to do if we can look at just to see you can see eyebrows you can arch those puppies more all sorts of different uh, adaptations there that you'd like but for me what concerned me most was that eye so in this case I uh, if you don't click on this little link symbol everything will go same on the left and the right eye so you can see both of them are getting bigger and smaller I don't want that I want to have it just affect that left eye so I click on my little link I'm gonna make that get a bit bigger and I'm gonna choose to make the height of it a bit bigger so that now my eye and if I press spacebar I can see before and after you can see how it was small now it's open just that little bit and it's subtle but it's definitely better and then the tilt of it was just a little kind of cockeyed there so I'm going to unlink the one and the other and just kind of play with the different ways of the eye to see what looks normal there to me and so just that little bit here was zero just that little bit okay that looks better to me okay great she knows everything love who I am go with that okay uh, if we wanted to be making the lips look more full we can actually do that here but again I encourage you just do the parts that it just do small adjustments here and there to what still looks natural if for some reason I wasn't looking happy enough we can add a little bit more of a smile but I was plenty happy there next everybody's favorite teeth so just about everybody I know needs at least a little tooth whitening unless you did those crest white strips for your wedding day and had them super bright already so I can you can see as the, I do that how the tone actually changes and then here's the really amazing one the pretty teeth feature you can see my teeth are already pretty good but we've got kind of an awkward little bit of a, a uh, reflection here and everything if I go onto pretty teeth 
with a single little click there. It replaces it and just slightly makes that change. And it still, frankly, looks like my own smile. It's just without it having the kind of weird shine, it still maintains the aspect of having a reflection there. So it doesn't look like my teeth are just flat. Um, but it definitely, in my head, is a, a, a decent improvement that I'll keep there. Okay. All right. So that's looking great. Next is going into the eyes. Here, we didn't get very much light in my eyes, so it's nice to bring a bit of brightness into here. And we can see how that looks of the difference from here to there, just bringing that bit of brightness there. And then at the same time, we didn't get much of a catch light. That's what helps really make your eyes sparkle and pop and have that life to it there. So it has all these different ones you can look at and try different types of catch lights in your eye. You can change the amount of percentage that, of how bright or dark it is with it there. Um, and there are ones for both what they say general versus indoors. I happen to like to look and see where was the original little bit of catch light because you want to be consistent with that direction. You see it was coming from here. So when I pop that in it, it's closer to there. But so you can see without it, and then with how it has just that bit more life to it in my face there. Great. Now, if for some reason I was not hugely loving my makeup that day, there's lots you can do in this here. There are ones that are just that you can do specific to your eyebrows, your eyeshadow, eyelashes, you name it, we can do those things. You can take ones that are kind of presets and just kind of apply these different things of different looks that go on to it there. But to me, I was pretty happy with what I had there. So I'm going to go back to none on that case. Let's just see of the eyebrows. If I wanted to bring that in for a little bit more definition on there for myself all the different shapes that you can accomplish with the eyebrows. And in that case, I'd probably bring it down just a bit. So you can see from before to after, just bringing in that little bit of definition for it there. You can if you like, or we'll go with me. Same thing you can do of all the different things of applying the eyeshadows, etc. And in all these cases, you can just always dial up or dial down the effect. It's all just sliders with it there. Okay. Looking great. And then the blush. And just that little bit more in the apples of the cheeks. Let's see. And you can kind of see in the diagram where it's falling. It's a little tricky here. Let's see. Of here to there. Yep. Getting that little bit more in the apples of the cheeks there. Just that little bit up top. And bringing that down so you can see from before to after with that it's really subtle just that little bit okay again if we want the hairline to move forward or back we can do that but i'm good with what we've got here all right and now we hit up everybody's favorite the AI reshape, where this is going to make the ability to make you just that little bit smaller than you might have want, felt that day. So in this case, I can go from here to, oh, there was the original. And then I can just choose to make it just that little bit smaller. And the AI one is going to do all the different dimensions that it feels like it can do properly. You'll notice that other ones are uh, grayed out at times. It'll figure because you're too close to some other object that it may not work of making it uh, be able to fix and change those different things, those parameters, um, versus the AI just kind of does what it thinks you might want overall. So I'm just going to look at that just that little tiny bit. It's all about believability because if I went down to here, this is just, that's creepy. <laughs> We want to just do that little subtle change. So you can see from there to here. It's that little tiny bit. Okay. 
All right, and that's pretty good on me there. All right, let's go to my husband now. Okay, if I zoom in here on him, we can see as well he had little that could be used to take care of. There we go. That looks great. And body blemish, I'll see if it goes for the neck that little bit, sure. No face shine there. Okay. Just that hint of under eye circle there that it may catch. And there we go. And then here's the amazing one with that little bit of popping in the double chin bit. You're going to see it will actually move that bit up, just that little bit there. Gives a little bit of shading and moves that chin up. Voila. Love that feature. Feeling good about his complexion and everything like that. Tonality. Great. All's looking good there. And you can see because he's in profile, it's not going to be able to do the gentle smile type of change there. And same thing, no teeth are showing, so no change would happen there. Okay. There. It's looking great. And now here's a new one they have is under the hair is hair gaps. So if you have a really wide part or if your hair is a little thin in some spots, won't get rid of an entire bald spot, but watch what this will do. Ta-da! Filled in some areas there. Went from here. To there. Amazing. Okay. Happy with how that looks. Now he's set. Great. Let's see what the next one would be. Background adjustment. If I had wanted to go and take us to being background replacing and stuff like that, amazingly we can even do that with a click of a button. But in this case, we're good with having our nice environment where we were. But that's what that takes care of. But you can have, if it was a type of thing like of a sunset or that there and you had uh, the skies and you wanted to put in a nice sunset, you could do a sky replacement. Okay, going to our clothes. Last thing is it can do some de-wrinkling. So you can see there's some wrinkles here. I'm gonna bring that up just to how I feel that seems right with it. Fine wrinkles will be the small little ones, coarse are the bigger ones. So say I wanted to keep more of the ones around here on my dress. If I bring that back, you'll see that maintained having that and bringing those parts back on my dress while keeping the big ones on his sleeve back in, uh, keeping those addressed as well. So you can see. Perfect. And then last but not least, and here we can go and do some more adjustments. We have both a healing tool and liquify. So when I look in here on big on his shirt here, we see that he's got some lint on this portion. If I click on the Band-Aid, we will have a couple different tools. The one that is probably going to be the easiest for you to use here is this spot healing brush. It just kind of does it on its own of finding what it needs to do. So I just click on wherever there's an issue and it decreases it. If I make my brush bigger or smaller, it makes it just pinpointed to that particular area that we're working on. So you don't want to make your brush much bigger than the object that you're trying to get rid of. The patch tool will be that it'll take the texture from one area and you can place it somewhere else. So from here, I'm going to say I want to get rid of that and make it from the texture over here, and then it just replaces it. The clone one actually will go and just transfer one thing from one place to another. So uh, it says that I've got to press option to tell it where is it going to clone from. So say for some reason I want to make another rose here. I'm going to pick this spot and if I do that and just click and drag, it's going to make it in the exact same spot, just over to the side. So not something I want to be doing at the moment. We're all good with it. I'm just going to hit undo. 
in the meantime and just keep with that healing tool that I had. I'm going to look and see if there's any other spots that need that type of tool. And you can also decrease what we call the opacity, how strong the effect is on these things on the clone uh, tool that you had there. Okay. All right, lint is gone. Great. And saying this, I felt like I wanted to have just a little bit more of my shoulder down with it there. I can use what's called this liquify tool. Uh, hold on, I've got to hit OK for my healing tool and accept the changes I made. Okay, processing. Okay, it saves what I got there. We're going to go into liquify here. You have lots of different tools, but the one that you're going to find the most useful is this forward warp tool. It's like literally just push something with your finger where you would want it to go. So if I wanted it to move over, that's exactly what I can do. And I just drag just that little bit there. Same thing with this bone. I'm just going to bring it down just a little. There. And I'll see what it looks like if I brought my dress up just a bit so it doesn't look like my skin's kind of coming up over the edge there. Okay. I can do my before and after over here. See here to there. And if I want to kind of undo what I did, but just subtly, we go in here smooth. Let's see, reconstruct tool. When I use that, and I just do it over the same area, it basically undoes it. How long you leave it on there is for how long it, it does it there. Okay. I'm going to decrease my pressure so it goes a little slower with it there. Just to show, there we go. Perfect. Okay, and again, I can see my before and after. Great. And say that I want to have just that little bit moved over there. There's a neat thing. We can freeze one part of it. So say I don't want any part of his suit to come over further. I'm just going to draw over this part here and make sure that anything that I'm painting over in red is not going to move at all. Okay, I go back to my little tool here, make it a bit bigger. Great, and then I'm just going to subtly move that little bit in. There we go. I'm going to come up here, get that little tiny bit in here. Okay, and I can see my before and after. Maybe just a little bit more up here. Okay. Great. And if I want to get rid of that hold on that area, I just click on the thaw tool and I can just go over that. Okay. That looks pretty great to me. I'm going to hit OK to accept it. And there we go. We can see here are our changes. We had from here to here. Fit this to the screen and we'll see here to there. Original to now. Quite the difference, but very simple to do. So I hope you will try this at home with your own pictures. And to let you do that, if you click on the link in the description down below, you'll see that it actually gives you a link to download the program and do 30 free edits using this, uh, which it means when I say edits, it's not each click. It's literally that you're exporting the image. And I'll do that right now just so you see. I'll export. 
and I will pick, I can choose what settings if I want to do it with it there, of anything different with it, of the settings of quality, etc. I usually just do it at the absolute best quality of stuff there, and hit, and I note where it's going to be exported to. And I hit export. When I say export and edits, that's what I mean. So you get 30 free of those to try out for yourself. So I hope you try it, and I hope you love it as much as I do. It has become an absolutely indispensable tool for me.